Uh, feels like just last week the 2013 season ended with the U.S. claiming their eighth President's Cup. Wait. That was just last week. Welcome to the 2013-2014 PGA Tour season preview show. I'm Amanda Balionis. This is John Swantek. And because of the new wraparound season, off-season is a term of the past as we kick off a new year with the Fries.com Open on Thursday. Maybe one of the best things about this new season is that for the fans and, and for us, we get to see the new guys on tour for the first time much sooner. And for the players, they've got, well, six more opportunities to win and also punch their ticket to Augusta. The season kicks off this week at the Fries.com Open out in Northern California. 45 events, three outside of the United States over the course of 43 weeks. And these events in the fall will award FedEx Cup points, full FedEx Cup points for the very first time. The season concludes in September at the 2014 Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. New faces, including 14 rookies, will tee it up at the Fries this week. So the question is, who do we want to keep an eye on? Now, if you watch the Web.com Tour Finals, you know there's an unbelievable amount of talent coming out onto the PGA Tour this season. A new face won't be considered a rookie, though, is John Peterson. He made a lot of starts in 2012, so he will not be considered into that rookie category. But I may have picked someone else if the season were to start in January like usual. But Peterson, he's on a hot streak right now, and there just hasn't been enough time for him to lose that momentum. Winning the Web.com Tour Finals title, the LSU fanatic, yes, you will be hearing a lot of LSU from this kid, <laughs> has not finished outside the top five in his last five starts. And that kind of confident play will serve him well beginning in the first events of this season. I'll give you a couple of new faces. Keep an eye out for Kevin Tway. He's uh, got a victory out in Boise earlier this year, and he certainly has the bloodlines as the son of Bob Tway, the 1986 PGA champion. Fine young player. We'll see a lot of him on the PGA Tour this year. Hideki Matsuyama as well. I had a chance firsthand to see how impressive he was at the President's Cup out at Muirfield Village last week. He's got a world-class game. He's got a couple of top 10 finishes in major championships, and he has a poise and maturity beyond his years. He's not at all overwhelmed by big moments. Patrick Cantlay, just 21 years old, coming out of UCLA. Hideki Matsuyama, like you mentioned, also just 21 years old. Torbjorn Olesen, Thunder Bear. We loved him last season. He will be making Full starts uh, this season, along with John Peterson, Wes Roach, and Andrew Loop. They will all take their best shot, these young guns, against the reigning PGA Tour Player of the Year. We got another Jack Nicklaus trophy in his closet. Tiger Woods comes off a five-win season. What do you expect going forward? Can he back it up? I absolutely think he's going to back it up. And please, Tiger, just for our sanity, claim a major so we can stop talking about will you ever win a major again. I think he is absolutely going to get it together. Like you said, five wins last season, strong wins. They, these were some of the top fields, WGCs, a player's championship. He was going against the best in the world. He just wasn't able to quite get it done in a major championship setting. But if those five wins has not set him up confidence-wise to get it done in this season, I don't know what I don't know what will. Is he still on track, however, to run down Jack Nicklaus's overall mark of 18 major championships? Take a look at this. He was well ahead of the curve and the career timeline for many years, but now just about step for step in terms of age and the number of majors they've accumulated through the years, Jack and Tiger. Right, remember Woods will turn 38 years old in December, but I think the big key for him, as long as he can stay healthy, he has a better shot at beating Jack's record, Jack's record than ever. Henrik Stenson took the FedEx Cup at the Tour Championship. No one's ever gone back to back. He certainly has the goods to be the first to do it. Who's gonna win the FedEx Cup this season? Who is going to win the FedEx Cup this season? I am going to go with somebody maybe not a lot of people would pick. I'm going to go Jason Dett. Mm. I'm going to get, he is so big time on these big stages. He's another one. Once again, President's Cup, I think, is pushing him over the edge in confidence. He has just been so close and he has been so good. I think he's going to work his way into the top five. And I think he's going to make it happen. I think Jason Day, you heard it here first. And I know you're not going to agree with me, so here you go. I'm going to stay in Australia. Okay. I think Adam Scott is poised for an even bigger year than he had last year when he won the green jacket yeah. for the first time. I think he's got another major in him. I think he's got a multiple win season in him. He's going to grab those extra FedEx Cup points that are up for grabs in the big events. And I think Adam Scott's going to be one of those top five going to the Tour Championship 
and he wins the cup. Scott did say at the PGA Championship, he said, I was hungry before I won the Masters, now I am starving to get another major. So he, he is definitely dialed in, he is focused on it. We'll see who's right at the end of next season. Now let's take a look at where you can catch the inaugural 2013-2014 event. This new wraparound schedule, the Fries.com Open, will kick off on Thursday on Golf Channel beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio Live Play-by-Play will have your coverage, which also streams on PGA Tour.com beginning at 2.